In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to solve for reaction time. I'm going to solve for reaction time two different ways with two different formulas and two different scenarios. The first one is a little bit more simple. It is the reaction time of a driver applying the brakes and the car is initially going 17 meters per second. And if the car moves a total of six meters before reacting and applying the brakes, then what is the reaction time? For this one, the car is moving at a constant velocity of 17 meters per second. So all you have to do is you have to use velocity equals delta x over t, and then solve for t. So for reaction time, it's really just solving for a time, and it's the time that has elapsed before a certain action is taken. And for this one, the car is going 17 meters per second. The delta x, which is the displacement, how far it's moved during that time. And we have the t on the bottom, which is what we're looking for. So for this, particular calculation. Um, it's basically just cross multiplying these two numbers. And then the T pops up on the other side. And then we have six divided by 17, which equals 0 0.35 seconds. The second scenario we're going to be looking at is a pretty common one to solve for the reaction time of any human, and that's taking a ruler and setting it right in between someone's fingertips and then having a second person drop the ruler at a random time. And then whenever the person reacts, they're going to pinch the ruler or the meter stick at a specific point. And that is the amount of distance that has something has free fallen while the person is reacting. Now, a ruler tends to be a little bit short, so a lot of times you may want to use something a little bit longer, like a meter stick. So typically, you want to use a unit that's going to be easy to convert into a standard metric unit, like meters. So say, for example, that the ruler is dropped and it has fallen 18 centimeters. There are two different things we need to do to the 18 centimeters to make it useful to us. The first thing is dividing it by 100 centimeters. To convert it into meters. And then secondly is to add a negative sign in front of it because it's displaced downwards. Now there's a few things we know about a free falling ruler. If we're having someone else drop it, we know that the initial velocity is zero meters per second. And we know the acceleration due to gravity for all objects in free fall is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now when solving any type of acceleration calculation, all you need is three variables. And if you have three variables, you're, you'll be able to solve for a fourth, which will either give you your answer or another variable that will lead you one step closer to your answer. So we have initial velocity of zero meters per second because our ruler started from rust. We have the acceleration due to gravity and we have a displacement of the ruler, which is negative 0.18 meters. So if the ruler is dropped and the person pinches the ruler at 18 centimeters from zero, then we can go ahead and use those three numbers and plug it into this formula. And then once we've solved for the T, then we have our reaction time. So let's go ahead and plug in our numbers and solve for that T.
All right, so we plugged in our delta y value, our displacement in the y direction as negative 0.18 meters. We got lucky over here and we're allowed to make this zero because our vi is zero. Um, and then plus one half negative 9.8 t squared, the one half times negative 9.8 simplified to negative 4.9. So we just did our two algebraic steps, which are dividing both sides by negative 4.9, which left us with 0 0.037 equals t squared, finished off by square rooting both sides, and we finished off with a final reaction time of 0 0.19 seconds. So to recap, um, depending on the scenario, you're really just solving for a t, and like I said before, the reaction time is basically the time that's elapsed before a certain action is taken. In the first case, it's before the brakes are applied. And in the second case, it's until a person is able to pinch that ruler. Um, either way, you're solving for a T using some kind of kinematic motion type formula. So I hope that was helpful in helping you solve for and understand reaction times. Thank you for watching and listening.